Sachikar. Today I am going to share with you our latest development. Now we have made a new chemical by which you can oxidize brass plate without electroplating. Let me show you the sample first. Have a look. All you have to do is dip this plate inside this chemical for one minute and just take it out and your sample is ready. You can give an oxidized finish within one minute without electroplating. Now let me show you how. Okay, we have some samples here and uh, some raw sheets that we are going to do oxidized finish. Okay, let's start with the lukewarm water. Now we are going to take 100 ml of lukewarm water as you can see here. And we are using plastic tray. You can use any type of plastic tray. Here we are using special PPDH grade. Okay, now it has like a movement seesaw system. This tray has a small block the bottom okay now we're going to use edge cut antique chemical which comes in one liter of packing and it has a shelf life of two years again same quantity 100 ml so the ratio is one is to one so that's 100 ml all right simple thumb rule of uh, mixing a chemical always steer the water or steer the tray while dipping the chemical inside and always put the chemical very slowly. All right, we'll be doing three samples today. Let's start with this. It's a Jaguar tag. Okay, just uh, dip the plate inside the chemical and start moving the tray. Now, as you can see, it has already started changing the color. You can see it is turning black. All right, as you can see here, within few seconds, it has turned black. Now, it totally depends on the freshness of your chemical, like uh, how much you have used. Since it's just a fresh chemical, it is not going to take more than a minute to be totally black. Now, we'll just take it out. Now just wash it with plain water. Okay, now we need a scotch bright to give a brush finish. Now just rub this scotch bright forth and back. So this is a very important part here. So it should be properly covered and uh, you should not be pushing it too hard. Otherwise the dark area behind will also get lighter. And yes, while doing any kind of finish, uh, you should not be touching the ground. You should not be touching with hand. Okay, so I'm just going to do it once again. just to give a better contrast yeah that's looking good okay let's take this bigger plate now you can see this is quite deep okay if anybody want to know how this plate has been added, I'm giving a link above just click on that Okay, I'm going to do the all trying to do all the angles where you can so that it should not leave any mark. You can again see that within a few seconds it has turned black. At the same time, you can see that the chemical is also turning almost like a little darker tone. So it means that uh, this chemical power is being used. Now, as you can see within a few seconds plate is almost black okay I'm just pressing all the bubbles if you see any air bubbles being created so you can do it by hand okay this is almost done yes the antique is done now we have to 
do the brush finish on it and uh, make a contrast yeah just clean it with water Again rubbing with scotch Brite, forth and back. This is very important, I am repeating again because if you change the direction, uh, you will lose the finish. It will not look nice. So it has to be just any one of the directions. So since this plate is designed as horizontal, I am giving this brush finish in horizontal only. Okay, now this is done. Now we're gonna just clean with water, just dip inside water. Right here, you don't have to rub it here, you just have to dip it inside water so that uh, this extra chemical will come out. Now you can see the result. Now this finish you can change if you want more darker tone on the back side then you don't have to push it a little harder. If you want uh, more lighter tone of course you have to rub it harder. So these, this, this you can change. Now we're gonna try something different. Uh, now this is not a plate, uh, not a flat thing but yes of course we're just trying to show you that this is also possible with the same chemical. This is again brass. It's like a flower vine, so it's like a small piece for inlay, but uh, you can see that um, it's doing really well. Now, since this chemical is almost dark, so this piece is going to take some extra time. If you would have noticed the first piece and the second, then the third one. The first two pieces were done probably in few seconds, so this is going to take some extra time because now chemical is weak and of course you cannot reuse this chemical yeah you can see that it's almost done the black color is done Since this kind of piece is fragile, so you have to be careful. I'm just using Scotch Bright on the main areas you know where I would like to give a different contrast or a finish okay dipping in the water Okay, you can see that it has a contrast now. Okay, now since all of these three pieces are done, now we are going to put it inside the baking oven. Uh, we're gonna bake it around 50 degree for let's say 10 minutes. Okay, now after baking is done, we are doing matte finish using matte lacquer now this machine is aqua spray booth it has a waterfall and a heavy section of air just take everything inside to keep your factory clean now once this matte finish is done you can see that it's very nice now this is 
using lacquer matte lacquer we are using here now once it is done we'll put it back inside oven again around 50 to 70 degree for 7 to 10 minutes okay time to look at the final samples these are ready yes they are looking nice clean matte finish a very good oxidized look Let's hope you guys like it okay if you want any more information write us an email at info at the rate edgecut.com thanks for watching the video if anybody want to learn how to etch this plate just click on this link and watch the complete etching process video. Thank you.